Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all okay. I've got a new story for us today. It is called The Smeds and the Smooth and it is written by Julia Donaldson. Are you sitting comfortably? By a lupula lake on a far off planet, there lived a young Smed and her name was Janet. Not far away on a humpety hill, there lived a young smoo by the name of Bill. Janet, like all the smeds, was red, and this is what her grandfather said. Never, never play with the smoos. They sleep in holes and they wear strange shoes. They jump about like kangaroos. Never, never play with the smoos. Bill, like the other smooths, was blue, and these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with the smeds. They have strange hair upon their heads. They sleep in funny things called beds. Never, never play with the smeds. The smeds on their lake like nothing better than splashing about getting wetter and wetter. But Janet grew bored with this watery play and early one morning she tiptoed away. The smooths jumped about on their humpety hill. They bounced up and down and it never stood still. But Bill was beginning to think this is boring. So early one morning he set off exploring. Janet met Bill in the Whirpula wood, where the truckles grew tall and the gotton pond smelled good. The two rubbed antennae and played all day long. She told him a story, he sang her a song. Then they climbed to the top of the jerry berry coot and nibbled its juicy and jellyful fruit. Till who should disturb them? But Grandfather Smed, shaking his fist, he angrily said, Never, never play with a smoo. They're such a nasty shade of blue. For the hundredth time, I say to you, Never, never play with a smoo. Grandmother Smoo was close behind, and this is how she spoke her mind. Never, never play with a smed. They're such a dreadful shade of red. I'll say again what I've always said. Never, never play with a smed. Years went by on the far off planet. Janet missed Bill and Bill missed Janet. But off they crept whenever they could to sing and play in the Whirpula wood. The two of them grew and decided to wed. But what do you think their grandparents said? Never, never marry a smed. My dearest child, are you off your head? They drink pink milk, they eat brown bread. Never, never marry a smed. Never, never marry a smoo. They're a beastly bunch and they're a crazy crew. They drink black tea and they eat green stew. Never, never marry a smoo. Janet and Bill stole out that night while their family slept and the swoon shone bright. They clambered into the Smed's red rocket. Grandfather Smed had forgotten to lock it. Bill pressed the button and Janet steered. When their families woke, they'd both disappeared. And the Smed said, your Bill must have stolen our Janet and taken her off to a distant planet. The smooth said, it's Janet who's stolen our Bill and lured him away from the humpety hill. The smooth climbed into their rocket of blue and they said to the smeds, you'd better come too. Suspicious and scowling, they soared into space. Till they reached planet Vumjum, a dry, dusty place. The Vums had long arms, which they waved in the air. But they didn't have news of the runaway pair. The next stop was Lurgelstrop, 
covered in roses and watered by beasts with small eyes and long noses. They touched down on Grimblestosh, coated in grime, and they searched Planet Blurch and found nothing but slime. One morning, the Smooths found they'd run out of tea, so the Smed shared their milk, which was as pink as could be. Then Grandfather Smed said, my hair needs a trim, and Grandmother Smoo kindly cut it for him. They landed on Skloop, where the Skloopies wore kilts, then flew to Klaboo, where the Clabs walked on stilts. They searched all year long, but they searched longer still. They didn't find Janet, they didn't find Bill. Alas, said the Smoos, and the Smed said, Alack, we have failed in our quest, we had better turn back. So they turned and flew home to their very own planet. Bill and Janet! The rocket touched down and they ran to the wood, where the trockles grew tall and the glompoms smelled good. And there in a glade, by the rocket of red, were the runaway Smoo and the runaway Smed. They'd got lost and flown home again, only to find that all of the others had left them behind. There was joy, jam and jumping, then Janet said, Maybe you'd like to make friends with our dear little baby. A baby? A red one? A blue one? But no! That baby was purple from head to toe. They all hugged the Smoo Smed, their new baby brother, and Grandpa and Gran even hugged one another. They laughed and they splashed and they danced with delight and they played with that baby from morning till night. They made him a rattle, they made him a flute, they fed him fruit from the Jerberry coot. Then they sang by the light of the silvery scoon, and you can sing too if you make up a tune. Play with the smeds and play with the smooths, play with whichever friends you choose, then close your eyes and while you snooze, dream of the smeds and dream of the smooths. Did you like that story, boys and girls? I hope you did. I really enjoyed that story.